Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you all my favorite gym shoes and sneakers in general. I love sneakers so much. I used to work at a sneaker store for about three years. So I'm also going to show you my favorite gym shoes that I really, really like and ones I also wear outside the gym. And I'm also going to give you some tips and tricks on how to take care of your shoes too. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with all your friends and subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on my Instagram at Squatting Saffron. I'm going to start off with the first pair of shoes and none of my shoes are really clean. It's why I'm making this video so I can clean them and also show you how I clean them. So I saved it, but this one is dirty. It I used this so much, it was all white, but as you know, what happens to all white sneakers, they don't stay white. But I will say that I have taken care of these a lot and these are Pumas and I don't really know the name of this one, this particular one, but I will link all the names of the shoes in the description box below, but I'll also show you how I clean this, okay? What I use to clean my sneakers is I don't put them in a washing machine. I've never put my sneakers in a washing machine. I don't hand wash them with a soap or anything like that. I'm very particular. So I use this product right here. It's from Jason Mark and I it's a shoe cleaner and I really, really like this. So, and it came with a brush, like a sneaker brush right here. So this one's really good. It's a soft one. Um, it's not too harsh. So if you have sneakers that are suede or has like a very uh, certain kind of material that is prone to, you know, get damaged when you do wash them. This one doesn't do that. But I got this um, on their website or Amazon, one of those or so, and it has the directions in here, but I'll just read them out to you guys. So basically what I do is I take a little bit of warm water and I put it in a bowl. And what I do is I put a couple of drops of this on the brush. I dip the brush in the water and then I, clean I start cleaning where the dirt is on the shoes and then I just wipe it off with a um, rag and then I let it sit to dry there is one tip on about the getting your shoes white obviously these are not because these are about three years old but I mean this is still not bad for three years old shoes um, and what I do is I use a tissue method and that's I'm gonna show you guys here I use a little tissue method and this is like so cool. It picks up the dirt So I'll take you guys through how I do that. So I layered the uh, once I done clean the shoes I layer the tissue and I Get my brush any kind of brush. I just use like a little makeup brush and I take a tissue now usually they say to have like a two-ply kind of tissue and I just pat it on there so I'm layering the tissue the wet tissue and I do it with the brush because I don't want the tissue to tear or anything I don't want it to be soaking wet so I'll just layer it on maybe about two three layers and then I'll store that in in a cool area so I just store it under my bed <laughs> and I keep it there for about two days and believe it or not I could not believe this either that after two days when the shoe dries the tissue actually soaks up all the dirt from the sneaker. So it lifts off all the dirt. It's not gonna be 100% crisp and white like they were when you bought them, but they are gonna be a lot more cleaner than if you had just washed them just with a brush. And that's what I've been doing. I don't do that all the time, but I do do that whenever I get the chance to. It is a process and sometimes I really, really like wearing these. It's a common shoe that I wear. So I don't really have time, but I thought I'd do it for the sake of this video. Moving on to the next pair of shoe is this one right over here. I do know the name of this one. It is the Nike Hirachis. Uh, these are a classic. I mean, it just, it matches my outfit too, you know, like th these are so beautiful. I used to have an all white pair of these and they became my favorite, favorite pair. And I finally threw them out and I could not live without these. Um, I know that these were all the hype about three, four years ago when everybody wanted them. Um, some people still want them. They, I don't, I don't know. I just don't follow trends anymore. I just buy whatever I like now, but I like it because it has this little dusty pink color here. It's gray over here. And I will say that these are very sturdy. So I wear them to the gym. These used to be my leg day shoes. Um, and they're really sturdy. They're like, they don't, you know, like this stuff is is really soft but the bottom of the sole of it is really hard i will say one thing is that these run small so i wear a size six and a half in kids yes i will get to that and why i wear a kid's shoe 
but these are six and a half. This fits more like a sock. So you might want to go up or half a size more in these. Another thing that I do want to point out is that these are prone to crease. I noticed that when I had these, the white, all white pairs, they were prone to crease and it had crease marks over here. Um, so to protect those little crease marks that I get, see how it's, I don't know if you can see, but it, it will crease. But I was smart around this time and I bought these shoe shields right here. So these are just some normal force field shoes. Um, and what they do is they're, they're like a, a foam material. They, I know there's one in plastic material too. I just find those a little bit uncomfortable. So what you do is on the side right here where it says right or left, you put it in the appropriate side and you stick them in here at the top, as you can see, you just stick them up in here. Usually they'll stick, but they don't anymore. As you can see how they just hang in there. And then you just put on your shoe like you normally would and they don't bother me at all um they don't uh feel like there's something at the front of my toes or anything like that so because you know if you wear a sock with it but they do hang it in there so i guess that's why they made it a foam one i just feel like a plastic one would be very uncomfortable and you could feel that one so i like the foam ones a little bit better and now if you wear them and if you go on your tippy toes they will be um, less likely to crease. So that is a great tip. If you have shoes that are prone to crease, buy the force fields. The next pair of sneakers are these ones right over here. They're from Adidas. They are, I believe the XPLR ones. They are in a khaki color. These ones are also very old, but these are my favorite because they go with anything. They even go with what I'm wearing right now. And I really, really like these. The only thing I would say is I do like Adidas sneakers and I believe I have this one i used to have a couple of others um but i i don't know if i really like them or not because they just run so big you know they they really do and i have a size four and a half you know and i am a size seven in women's as i was saying i do wear kid shoes and really the reason for that is one kid shoes are just a little bit more cheaper saving money right there but another thing is that I just like the way the kids ones fit my feet a little bit better I have small feet I'm actually a seven and a half in women's but here's the tip if you actually wear up to a nine in women's you can go and wear the nine converts to a seven in kids so if you wear anything else other than a nine in a women's shoe I'm talking to all the women here then you can wear up to a seven in the kids but anything above a nine and a half you could wear you can also wear men's as well which would be like a seven and after that it would just convert to like a nine and a half to like an eight in men's and stuff like that so that's one of the you know good things about it that's why i have a seven and a half but i can wear four four and a half in the kids also, um, during the times that I worked at a sneaker store, I did realize that there were a lot of men who also gravitated towards the women's styles too. So they actually did like the colorways of the, some of the sneakers that they have on there. Um, I know that some uh, men who wear like an eight or a nine actually move to like some of the women's sizes. And it, it just all depends, you know, what, what style you want, what kind of shoe it is. Moving on and I'm sticking, I don't really have a theme, I realize that, but I think I do now. <laughs> Since I picked up the Adidas one previously, I'm picking up another Adidas shoe, which is this one right over here, which is called the NMD. Oh my God, these are a classic in everybody's shoe collection. And oh, these match me too. I, I got these shoes when they used to match. I like to match my sneakers. But this I believe is actually in a size six and a half. So this is an actual women's size. It's not a kid's size, it's a woman's size. These are okay. They are really pretty, but I would say that this gum bottom right here, it's starting to squeak. So once you get shoot like water in your sneakers, they're just gonna squeak. That's just the nature of how sneakers are. Especially the ones that have like this kind of gum bottom or something, they're just gonna squeak all the time. Pair of sneaker, which is another classic that a lot of people get and I, st I still see some people wear them are the Nike Roshis right here that the Roshi runs. This is a this is such a pretty red color and they are still brand new. They look so brand new. I believe these are maybe about four or five years old or something like that. 
and this is in the size six in kids but i kept this one i had a gray pair but i kept this one because of the color and now i actually have things to match with this so usually i'll wear like white shirt or a black shirt with like some jeans or something and then throw these on but now i actually have a red tank top so i get to wear these at the gym too i think that i will say about the roshis and i know people do use them for weightlifting. i try not to use them so much because of this mesh material right here so that's just not protect your toes so if you step on something in the gym or a dumbbell hits your toes it this will hurt so not one that i recommend for the gym specifically all the time but you know it's a fun little get up that you can do if you have a bright color like this but i would definitely wear this as if i'm going out and about in town i'm talking about sneakers and how to take care of them and how i clean them and stuff like that there is another product that I would say is that if you want to clean your shoes on the outside, you also have to make sure you clean them on the inside, especially if you wear sneakers a lot. I wear them so much on my feet. Like I own so many sneakers. I rarely get to wear like sandals, heels or flip flops or anything like that. So because I always have uh, gym, gym feet, we know how those can smell. I use this product right here to um, sanitize it this is a disinfector and a deodorizer and it kills MRSA so it's like one of those that mildew that can be built up in you know in your gym stuff and if you know how sweaty gym socks smell like <laughs> it kills those germs over there it's TMI but all you do is you take your shoe and you take your spray and you put it upside down and you just spray that in there as so and then you just let it all out and just let it air dry. And this actually smells really good. It smells like oranges. I love this one right here. Moving on to the next shoe is this one right over here. It is from Reebok. I have no idea what the name of this one is, but I really, really like this one. It's an off-white-ish gray color with this purple uh, cool tone right here on the side. I wear these often but not as much as I would like to. And they're really, really cool right here. You can see that, but I don't know. I, I do like these. They're just a little bit too big as in width wise right here, length, lengthwise. They are a little bit too big. Um, they are narrow width wise, got that right. <laughs> but from the length wise they are. And this little thing, the flap right here sometimes gets stuck. So I can't really wear them on leg day. I try to wear them um whenever i do upper body i actually wear these when i do my hamstrings though because it is a sturdy shoe so i really like these ones too another thing i wanted to point out about these shoes are look at the laces it's the little things that get me in sneakers you know and usually i'll redo these <laughs> sometimes some sneakers get on my nerves so i'll just redo them again as you can see i have a lot of shoes that are light colored they're not like you know black or dark colors in here so it's really important that i protect my shoe as much as possible so i don't always have to keep cleaning them i used to be on like a little strict schedule myself and i used to clean all my sneakers all at once because i had just so many and i had so light ones and i really wanted to take care of them but what made it easier for me to wash them less is using this protectant right over here i love this stuff i have gone through so many cans of this it's from Force Field. Um, you get it on Amazon. And what's, what you do is after you have cleaned your sneakers with the sneaker cleaner and you have disinfected with the disinfector and you let it dry all the way completely. So the next day or two days after, depending on the material of the shoe, take this and spray two coats on it and let it dry. And you will see that any kind of dirt or water will literally roll off. And I promise you that this works because I would spray it on some of my sneakers and my shoes would get wet, um, but it would have, it would form beads on the sneakers. So I could just like brush away the beads of water. Like so cool. They were like waterproofed. Oh my God. I also do every single time I buy new sneakers, which is not often. <laughs> anymore but when i do buy new sneakers i do make sure i have this on my hand because i wear them especially when they are new because when they are new they have no dirt or anything on them so that's the best time to put this on there and saving the best for last and it is one of my new pairs of sneakers which i absolutely love these are these right here from rider wear these are the d mocks um these are actually a kai green 
a collaborated shoe. They have a lot of colors in it. What I like about this is that they are unisex. I do wear them when I have leg day because they are a high top. And these are a weightlifter shoe. Now, a lot of people said, oh, this looks like a wrestling shoe. Yes, it does. If you know what a wrestling shoe looks like, it does. Some people wear their wrestling shoe or they wear Converse's for their leg day. I don't do that personally, so I just buy a lift weightlifting shoe. And this color is so pretty. And you can see that it has Kai Green on it. I redid, I redid the laces, so they were kind of, I don't know, they were like straight across, but then I, I redid them just because I'm just picky. And it has the Rider Wear logo on it, and at the bottom it has kai green written on it um but they are high tops they look so beautiful i love them um but they are glorified wrestling shoe they are flat and that's what you need whenever you do squats deadlifts or you're in your leg press or something you need a shoe that is completely flat which is why some people do wear converses i don't own converses so i don't wear them but i wear this one right here it's good for leg day and it's also good for upper body day and also i got like tons of compliments every time i wear these and i step into the gym people are like oh my god they've never seen these shoes i will say one thing about the size is that i believe this one is a size uh, size six so you do have to be careful of them um they, they these didn't cost a lot because i got them on sale I, I believe that they still have them on sale and there's like a ton of other colors also but i will say that be careful with the sizes and read through it carefully because i actually had got another pair that was like a seven and a half or something and those were like way way too big and i guess these are like in another country of the sizing so uh you have to if you're in the u.s make sure you really look at the u.s conversion of the shoe because this six fits like a seven and a half i believe which is what i normally wear so that was kind of strange and i didn't think about it i didn't look at the size chart real nice so I, I would say stick to the ones that is in the US size and then that will have the conversion to the right of wear sizes. Okay, so do keep that in mind. I hope that you guys liked this video and found it useful on how to take care of your sneakers. And you guys can see one of my favorite pairs as well that I commonly wear, you can see in my videos or in my pictures on Instagram. And that is all I have for you today. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye and take care.